Welcome to this adventure of Wassel Science as we peer into the tiny world of the ant and learn some lessons from the ant. Look to the ant, you sluggard. Yeah, scripture's full of examples of truth and some of that, especially over in Proverbs, we see that the ants can teach us definitely a thing or two about living a life on purpose for God Almighty. So, on this adventure of Wassel Science, let's do it. Let's get at it. All about the ants. Woo! Let's go. You're never really too far from the ants. They belong to the order Hymenoptera, and check it out, there's about 22,000 different species of the ant. About 12,500 have been classified. Look to the ant, you sluggard, as we read over in Proverbs. Ants are amazing tiny creatures to watch. They all work in harmony and they all work, right? It's amazing to see. Some colonies can be a few hundred, while others can be highly organized up into the millions. And the worker ants are those that are bringing food back and forth. A single ant can actually hold the weight of 20 ants. How incredible! Hey, how's it going? We communicate by, hey, how's it going? Talking, right? Ants don't. They actually use uh, pheromones or touch or even sounds to communicate. Ants are very unique in their anatomy among other insects. And yeah, they're insects. They have three body sections, six legs, an exoskeleton. But check this out. They have an elbowed antenna. They can actually move those antenna around almost at an elbow joint. Also, they have what's called a metapleural gland and a strong constriction of their second abdominal segment. It's almost like a node-like petiole. Amazing how God created the ant. You and I have an endoskeleton, which is our skeleton within our bodies. Endo meaning inside. And stone, they have what's called an exoskeleton. So their skeleton is actually on the outside of their body. They also don't breathe through lungs like we do. They actually breathe through their exoskeleton, through tiny valves, tiny holes, called spiracles.
ants don't have a closed circulatory system as well. They have a long, thin, perforated tube along the top of their body, and that's called a dorsal aorta, and it almost acts like a heart. They also have a nervous system consisting of a long ventral nerve that runs the length of their body and then kind of branches out along the extremities. The ant's head is where we find its eyes, along with a lot of other sensory organs. Now the eyes of ants are amazing. They have three simple eyes, but they have compound eyes as well. And those are many lenses attached together. Doesn't give great resolution, but it does allow them to see in many different aspects of their habitat. What a great adventure learning all about the ants and the lessons we can learn from them. God created this tiny insect to teach us a way in which we need to depend on others and ultimately depend on the Lord for our strength. Just incredible. Thanks for joining us on this adventure of Wassel Science. We'll see you guys next time wherever we're at here on Wassel Science. We'll see you guys next time. Bye. The anatomy of ants is very unique among other insects as well. Ants are insects. They have three body parts and they body parts, body sections. Let's do it that way. Redo.